Hey guys, Sam here again. Uh, young lad Peter Johnson, Johansson, or I'm not sure on the pronunciation of the last name, um, asked me to do a video of wild fowling for the young shots. Um, hide building, stuff like that. Basically, a hide is the same as pigeon shooting. You need a good background um, to your, where you're going to place your hide and stuff like that. So that nearly or basically covers your your hide uh, building. Just a piece of scrim net will do, um, a tatty piece, a uh, couple of poles, stretch the net between it and in you go, really. That's all there is to that, really. Uh, as to hide placement, again, it's the same as uh, pigeon shooting. You need to know where, you, where your wildfowl is going to be, your ducks, geese, whichever. Um, <clears throat> obviously, with geese, you need a bit more of a better um, a hide, better hide than you do for ducks. Um, but all I do, really, this is just me. Um, I chuck my decoys out on the splash. Um, and then I sit on the bank, that's all I do, um, and I've had good success with that. Yeah, I do wear dark, drab, coloured clothing, um, a green jacket, um, hat, face veil, and green gloves. Um, so that's that. Uh, like I say, where you're going to set yourself up, it all depends on where the ducks are going to be at the time. Uh, <coughs> So it's get out there, same as with pigeon shooting, get out there, reconnaissance, you know, do your reconnaissance and find out where the ducks are um, and where they're going to be coming in on the splashes and, and ponds and different things like that. Um, as for decoys, you see my decoys in the other videos. Um, that's all I've got to say really on that. Um, I might be up, up you know, adding a few more different ducks to my decoy pattern at some point. Um, but we'll have to wait a few months maybe until I get the get the necessaries up and up and going for that. Because um, they're not cheap. My local gun shop does them at a fiver a piece. Um, so you can see you don't really want to be spending too much like that on, on some decoys. Uh, but and say, say, say that again, you know, I've got some cartridges here I've been and got today um, that I've never used, but I've got them to give them a try. Uh, and for 10 for ten cartridges, you're looking at £15.75. That's just my local gun shop. Um, again, there's some more there's expensive ones. There's some not so expensive ones. You've just got to do, you know, shop around. Do what you want, get what you want, use whatever you feel comfortable using. So I'm going to flick this round now and show you these cartridges that I use. There's only six cartridges that I mainly use. One is a kind of dual purpose. Um, it does me for ducks and geese. The other one, mainly for ducks really. And then there's another one that's mainly just for geese can use all of them for, for geese as well or ducks. Uh, the other ones, mainly a duck load, really. High ducks, or you use them for geese, which, like I say, whichever. And the other ones, um, well it's got a picture of a duck on it, but I um, suppose you could use them for geese as well. They're a magnum load. So, there we go guys, I'm going to flip round now. So, the first ones you've got there, uh, the Ely Grand Prix Steel in number threes, and Ely Grand Prix HV in Bismuth Shot. These ones, uh, I don't know if some of you might have seen Wildfowling with Chris Green, he uses these for uh, decoying Canada's. On the marsh in his first deep, in his first wild farming video. This one, these ones are good. I've used these for a lot of years. These ones, Ely Grand Prix three steel, thirty two grams. Very good. Next down is T 
two sorts of game ball. One is the Super Steel Magnum number ones, thirty six grams. These is BBs. 50 grams. Very good. The uh, a three inch ma uh, magnum, as are these. And the next ones, I've got some focaccias. Uh, I use focaccia in my three bore garden gun. They're very, they're very good for the rats and squirrels around the yard also a few close quarter rabbits as well and they are Cochi Magnum Oh Shot I've never tried these before it's a good name, good make and then the next ones the Express Live Ale Heavy Shot. I'm not. I don't think it is actually Express that makes these. These important. I do believe. I'm not sure. Uh, these are a 31 gram of threes, and they're in a 32 mil case. They're three inch. Three, three, two and three quarter, as is the heavy shot. I say I've never tried these ones before, so this season we'll try them out and see how they go. Again, the price comparison of four pound fifty to fifteen seventy five. This is an old price on this box of 1779. They're now, I believe, nearly 25 quid for 25. These I think was the cheaper ones. Not sure on the price. Uh, no more than a fiver, I don't think. All these cartridges will do the same. So there you go guys, you've got your Live Hell Express, Heavy Shot, Super Game, for clutches, 3 inch Magnum, you've got your Super Steel, BBs, 3s, and these is 5s. Well, there you go guys, I hope this has, has helped you. Um, Peter, I know that you know it's part of the part of what you wanted to know. Um like I said like I said to you on Facebook earlier on, um I'll be out uh, tomorrow. I'm not sure what the date is tomorrow. Uh, what's the date tomorrow? Who? What's the date tomorrow? 22nd of October 2010 uh, just in case the people watching this a few, few months from now thinking hey we were watching that uh, what I'm lost but no it's the 22nd tomorrow um, and I'll be out in the evening flight of ducks I might even take the super game for a try uh, there is some other ones. These have worked as well. Um, these aren't what they are. Remington Nitro Turkey. They're a 12, 12 gauge, 3.5 inch. 2 ounce shot of number 4s. 
Don't know what they're like. These aren't the ones that's in them. Um, this box only cost me a couple of quid. It's the same as the focaccias. So, that's another one just to consider if you've got a three inch magnum chamber. So there you go guys. I'm uh, on about ten minutes now. I've waffled on a bit. There you go guys, that's just a set of cartridges that I use. Please subscribe, comment, feedback, um, whatever. Cheers guys.